Hey everybody, how you doing? I'm Keith. I want to talk about something near and dear to my heart. I want to talk about recovery. I'm not talking about working out recovery. I'm not talking about drug recovery. I'm talking about cancer recovery. There's a lot of videos out there geared to teach us how to get motivated and build muscle and recover from workouts, how to lose weight, what mindset you need to be in to get the job done, to build your body and it will shape your frame. I want to talk about cancer recovery. There's not that many videos out there geared to help you deal with the diagnosis of cancer what you hear, the procedures you had to go through while you're dealing with cancer, and what you need to do to surround yourself with the right people to help you get through this trying time. A year and a half ago, I was diagnosed with stage four non-Hoskins lymphoma. It was one of the scariest times of my life. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know what to feel. But I know that I had to listen to the doctors and do whatever they told me to do. I had to endure a lot of physical pain. I had my tailbone broke, four spinal taps, two blood, blood transfusions. I was on a 24 hour drip, six days a week for eight months. Every two weeks in, one week on, two weeks home, one week back in. And I have never dealt with something so serious and life-threatening in all my life. And that's what I want to deal with. Because I know it's millions of people out there who just got diagnosed with cancer and scared. And you have no way nowhere for your feelings to go. I want to share my story because I went through a lot of pain of mental anguish with nowhere for my feelings to go. So what I did was I prayed. I prayed and I heard God's voice and he told me that I would be okay. When I got confirmation that I would be okay, I had to get on the road and start understanding how to think positive and rebuild my thoughts. Dealing with this horrific time in my life. So what I began to do is I've always been a gym rat all my life. So what I started to do, because when you have cancer, you have a pick in your arm. And they tell you you can't lift no more than 10 pounds. So I had to give up the gym for a time period while I deal with cancer and my cancer treatment. So what I began to do was I exercised with exercise bands. I had never did it before, but it was something I wanted to do because I wanted to get my shape back where it was. And I wanted to start staying focused on my recovery. Chemotherapy is designed to destroy everything, even the good cells and the bad cells. So you must be proactive in making sure that you keep yourself healthy and strong while you're on the chemo. So I took my insurance every day. And while I was in the hospital room, I worked out with my exercise bands. I needed that. I needed that because I got a chance to do something that I was used to and stay focused on something other than being under the drip for 24 hours a day. Yes, I know what you're thinking. I worked out with exercise bands in the hospital room twice a day for six days a week while I was on my chemo. And the doctors thought that that was crazy, but it wasn't crazy for me 
Because the most strongest thing you have, it wasn't the chemo. It was your mind. It was your will to live. It was your will. It's your will to know that you got to be here for your family members. And you must think positive about that every day. I am starting this cancer recovery video to start a movement because we have to band together and help those people who are stuck in that mindset of despair that they have no way out. I want to be your voice to your pain because while you're sitting there under that drip, you must remember that there is a tomorrow. And I know some people saying, well, what if I'm terminal? What if there is no tomorrow for me? Well, then put a smile on your face and know that your pain will be over. And you can rejoice in that. But if there is a tomorrow for you, I want you to be the best you you can be and greet it. Greet your tomorrow. Greet it. Head on. This will be the start of a series of different videos to motivate your mind, body, and spirit. Because to overcome cancer is not just to take chemo, not just to take radiation, not just to take pills. The doctor's diagnosis and the treatment is just part of what you need to be. Just part of it. You got to believe in the power of inside you that God gave you the most powerful thing in this world is your will to survive your will to survive and I want to be the voice to your pain you can reach out to me you can subscribe to my YouTube channel because I'm going to be putting information on here that you will need to hear you need to know that the chemo is there to help you, but you must put yourself in the right mental position to overcome cancer. Because there's going to be times when you want to give up. There's going to be times when you don't think it's working. There's going to be times when you're just saying, I had enough. Wield yourself. I'm going to give you the tools to wield yourself. And I know you're saying, Keeper, what if it's the end for me? What if this is the end? And I say to you, what if it's not? What if it's not the end for you? You're going to meet whatever is your fate head on. You're going to meet your fate head on, no matter what that fate is. If you begin to beat it and get in remission, then you will dance and rejoice. If it's the end, you will meet your maker and you will dance and rejoice because your pain is no more. So I hope you reach out, hope you spread the word. There is a place, there is a voice of our pain because I'm still in remission right now. I'm still on my every three month <laughs> checkups. So you pray for me. And I will surely do the same for you.